This recipe for the best meatloaf was submitted by All Recipes member Danelle and uses steak sauce for extra flavor. Another All Recipes member comments that, this really is a wonderful meatloaf recipe. I have searched far and wide and have made many a meatloaf, and this is where the search ends. Let's start by preparing the vegetables for the meatloaf. Peel and chop one onion. Then core and seed a green bell pepper. And dice enough to yield half of a cup. Set the vegetables aside for now and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Next, lightly grease an eight and a half by four and a half inch loaf pan. You'll need one cup of soft breadcrumbs for this recipe. The best way to make this is to put some stale bread into a food processor. And pulse it until it looks like the right texture. Crumbly, but not overly fine. Now for the meatloaf mix. In a large mixing bowl, add one and a half pounds of ground beef, one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, one egg, a dash of ground black pepper, and the breadcrumbs. Combine the mixture. And add half a cup of milk. Three tablespoons of steak sauce. The onion. And the green pepper. Mix it all together again. And place the mixture in the prepared pan. Shape it into a loaf. Brush the top with a generous two tablespoons of steak sauce. One All Recipes member suggests topping the loaf with some bacon strips if you'd like for a smoky, rich flavor. It's a good idea to place the loaf pan on a cookie sheet in case the juices bubble over. Bake the meatloaf in the preheated oven until it's fully cooked through, about an hour. An instant read thermometer placed in the center of the meatloaf should read 160 degrees. Allow the meatloaf to stand for five minutes before slicing into it. Serve it with your favorite steak sauce. An All Recipes member named Sarah Jo says, this is the meatloaf I was raised on and it makes great meatloaf sandwiches, total comfort food. Another member notes that it freezes well. Just slice it before freezing for easier reheating. 